Hey everybody, welcome back to Quest for Glory 4! Uh, Shadows of Darkness, had to think about that for a second, that's a bit of a shame. I am the Blues32, let us continue. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Sleep, uh... Wanted to be midnight. After some rest... After some rest, you... One more time. There's a reason I'm doing this, don't worry. After some rest, you're getting tired. Perfect. Now we go back outside. Aha! You have the feeling you are being watched. That? You see a small, hairy, sad-looking creature. Is a domovoy. Let's talk to the double boy. Not many big people see Domo boy. Most not look. You something special. Maybe so? Maybe. You hero? Mordavia big hero need. Plenty powerful hero. Maybe you be soon. Learn much. Practice much. Soon plenty big hero. Why, thank you. So, uh... What are you? Domovoy am I. Domovoy, I be. Over places Domovoy watch. Protect the inn, do I. By big people Domovoy not seen. <laughs> you stranger are. Uh, maybe hero, maybe not. Show myself to you, I do. Speak to you, I will. Maybe good things for people will you do. Maybe good thing for Domovoy you do, hmm? Yeah. Some night soon, talk we will again. Domovoy good luck bring. Maybe Domovoy help you. You Domovoy help. This guy could confuse Yoda. In where I am living. In Domovoy am I, luck I bring. Way things go now, think most luck bad. Things at inn not good. No people come. Innkeeper and wife very, very unhappy. Mordavia very, very sad place. Mm -hmm. Even Domovoy cannot help here. Oh, too much dark magic. Dark magic, you say? Too much we speak, too much I talk. Sometime else we speak, sometime else I talk. Well, fair enough. So, how are you Bad talking about? Bad place about? here anymore. Good many years ago, but going very bad now. Many bad things here, you find out. Yeah, I found some. It hurt me. It hurt me, Doc. Maybe talk again. You come down other night. Maybe have much to say. Maybe. Come back to bed. You unlock the door to your room and go in. My cat's rubbing against the hand that I'm using to control the mouse. You awaken as the sun begins to rise. And don't I look good? Down we go. Okay. How are you, Mr. Innkeeper? I'll have me some breakfast, por favor. It's a garlic souffle, Mordavian style. You don't say. Nom, 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 nom. Oh. Later, the innkeeper nods at you. Out I go. Hello again, Mr. Spitty Guy. 
Still you remain. It is a wonder you have managed to live so long. I'm a talented man. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna regret this. You start to tell the old man about the ghost you met in the forest. Anna? You have seen Anna? Sort of. You explain that you saw her ghost in the forest. Anna is in the forest? Where is she? I must go to her. Well, that's not a good idea. You tell Nikolai where you saw Anna, and try to explain that she is dead. Thank you. I cannot thank you enough for finding my Anna. I will go to her now. I will help her find her way home. Thank you again. Here he goes, full speed ahead. He's at the 10. No, not the 10. He's at the 20. The 10. No one will catch him. Sorry, sports is not my forte. just can't let me open his door. Hi again, Chief. Ah, you're just in time to witness a magnificent scientific experiment. I have managed to harness the very primal force of lightning at my back and call. Now I shall use it to create life itself. Go for it. Watch this. Ow. Hmm, that was not quite the experimental result I expected. Uh, but never mind that, it is merely a momentary setback in the annals of science. I shall readjust the magnetic electrical stimulation system and try again another day. So he's gonna readjust the mess. Sorry, I forgot to turn that down again. So, how you doing? You say hello to the scientist. It is good to see you again. I trust the Antwerps gave you no trouble? Uh, no. You tell Dr. Cranium about your first adventures in the Spielberg Valley. Seems vaguely interested in your tales of the Baron and his children, but his eyes positively light up when you mention the Antwerp. Ah, so you are the Spielberg hero. I went there on an Antwerp gathering expedition a few months ago. The people there are still talking about your adventures. Oh, that's nice. You continue by telling Dr. Cranium of your encounters oh, with the like wizard part. Erasmus, the deadly kobold magic user, and the ogreless Baba Yaga. Turned her into a frog? Oh, <laughs> such Poppycock! There is a perfectly straightforward scientific explanation for all of those events. There is no such thing as magic. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. So, how'd that lightning go? I have go? come to the conclusion that lightning is electrical in nature, no. which would put it in the realm of fire. Yeah. Fortunately, there have been an increasing number of storms here lately, so I have been able to harness some of the lightning and store it for experimental use. That's actually pretty impressive, considering the, uh, time. I am convinced that the primal force of life is electrical in nature. Also of course, very good. it must also involve water for life, and pizza, without which life would be boring. <laughs> okay, I'm impressed. Antwerps are truly fascinating species. They reproduce by splitting into a number of tiny Antwerps, each with their own genetic code. They cannot split voluntarily, however. They only reproduce when cut or stabbed. My test Antwerps came from Spielberg Valley, where there was an Antwerp population explosion last spring. <coughs> Sorry about that, people of Spielberg. I just didn't want it to, smish, to squish my head. Oh, I have been better. The failure of my M.E.S.S. was a shocking experience, I can tell you. Understanding and harnessing the power of nature is just... I think he says this every time, never mind. But... 
What I do need is... Here you like are. This. One freshly brewed healing drink. Sip it if you get hurt, and its beneficial vitamins and other ingredients will help your body to recover quickly. And some poison cure. Here you are. One you have to come back here every day if you want to get one of those. Or one of both. So, yeah, I think we're done here. Thank you very much. You say goodbye. Oh, it is always a pleasure to have one such as you visit. No, thank you. You're so kind. Mm, perhaps I should wait a day or two before resuming my Frankie experiment. It is very important that the right person stay in charge here. In charge. Get it? In, in, in charge? Never mind. I should probably avoid the Burgomeister. He's not going to be very happy that I sent what's... Hair on my tongue. Sorry about that. Uh, sent Nikolai off to die. How you doing, man? The headstone carver stares at you and then goes back to work. Anything new to say to me? Damn it, still hair on my tongue. Oh, Igor not hear rumors. Igor not know Olga's husband run off years back. Nobody tell rumors to Igor. Mm. Igor very happy. <laughs> Little graveyard humor there. <laughs> Cemetery east of town. Major tourist attraction. I'm sure. Oh, bad place. No go near. You be very sorry you go near. This is a bass relief of a strange creature. It looks like an octopus with only six tentacles. You have a creepy feeling as if it is looking right back at you. I think I can get in. Maybe I should. Yeah, let's go in. The hectopus seems somehow calmer as you present the Dark One sign to it. You get the feeling that there's something it wants you to do with the sign. Bad place. <gasps> very bad place. Go away. You'll be very sorry. Oh, it's fine. I know what I'm doing. As you touch... You push the Dark One sign into the indentation on the door. It fits perfectly. A little early. What's this? There's something dark in the alcove. Could it be at last the fabled black bird for which so many have been searching? This carving depicts a cavernous, hungry looking mouth. Here, two bones have been crossed as on a pirate flag. Yeah, this is a little early. A long wooden table attests to a time. What's this? This is a fairly attractive, in a Baroque way, display cabinet with a glass door. You don't think you should break someone else's property. Um. Of course, if you had a way to destroy the entire evil abode, you'd do it in a second. Nice consistency of belief, eh? Damn it. Hmm. One second. Just making sure that this thing doesn't slag out on me. Yoink. Your fetch spell neatly snags the blackbird. Yeah, there's really not much I can do in here right now. Coming in here was a bit of a mistake. You retrieve the Dark One sign from the monastery door, then quickly step away before the Hectopus can react. Yeah, that thing will kill you. I'm sure that was obvious. Okay, let's add some weight. Any more weight might... Oh, fine. There's only a certain amount of punishment your body can stand on any given day. 
You consider placing a few more weights in the baskets, but... Eh, fine, fine. Fine, fine, everywhere, fine. Climbed the rope. Well, that was fun. Now you feel like... Climbs the rope. Well, that was fun. Now you feel like climbing something even higher, like Mount Tana. Don't speak of Tarna, I still miss it there. Well, that was fun. Well, that was fun. Just trying to build up my skill. Well, that was fun. Well, that was fun. One second. Yeah, whenever it does something... <sighs> this game is giving me a hard time. After some rest... What time is it? Yeah, I've got time. After some... Don't Nikolai has disappeared from his home. The last time I saw him, he said something about finding Anna. I fear he is dead. I said nothing. This has nothing to do with me. You can't prove a thing. More missing people! Now old Nikolai is gone. What is this town coming to? But he's old. He's just gonna wander off. You know how they are. Sorry, that was terrible. To tell old. Oh my! You certainly have been to some outlandish places. So <laughs> must be nice for you to be back in real civilization again, huh? If you say so. Yeah, my sad departed husband. His name was Boris. Gone three years now. He was such a good man. Um. You tell Olga that the gatekeeper's name is Boris Stovich, and ask if they're related. Aha! So that's where the so and so went. <laughs> tell him he's a rotten old goodnik. Can do. <laughs> As my lost husband used to say, may all your travels lead somewhere. burkmeister has gone already. What is the deal? Anyway, let's go play uh, relationship doctor or whatever you want to call it. And hopefully something will attack me so this won't be a completely boring episode episode video hi again welcome again to the gates of the castle borgov i hope that you've been enjoying your visit to mordavia here we go you tell boris what olga said about him he blushes Olga was always opinionated. I grew tired of listening to her complain about me all the time. Is that right? My wife has been gone for many years now. Don't you lie to me, sir. <sighs> Good luck, and... May your feet move faster than the thing that chases you. <laughs> yes.
And now, what news do you have for me? Um. Well, first off, let's buy some equipment, eh? Sandwiches. Then I'll tell of my adventures. Tell Olga about what you've been doing in Mordavia. And be sure and keep me informed. I need to know everything that goes on around here. Someone's got to have a clue after all. And let's talk about You boys. tell Olga that Boris says she complains about him all the time. Well... If he'd ever been here to get his work done instead of spending all his time carousing at the inn, I wouldn't have had to complain. And you can tell him I said so, huh? Okie dokie. You take care. Don't want to see your funeral. You hate that walk to the cemetery. As my husband used to say, come back again, sunshine or rain. Does everybody roll their R's around here? I understand some people can't actually do that, and that, that weirds me. None of this weird me. It puzzles me, is what it does. It's not very hard. Just rrrr. It's very easy. Hello again. You are a most brave man to wander so freely in the Mordavian woods. Nah, that's my business. Eh, yeah, let's talk about your wife. Tell him that Olga thinks he was too lazy. Lazy? lazy. What was there to do in a shop with no customers? <sighs> Once the swamp cut off trade here, we had nothing to sell. Well, well. I had nothing to do there. So just because I would sit at the inn and talk with the other men, she thought I was lazy. All she ever did was sit around and give me orders when I was in the shop. What was the point of dusting if no one came in the shop to notice the dust? Man has a good point. May your journey take you where you wish to go. Oh, I'd like to go to Silmaria. I hear it's nice this time of year. Hint, hint, hint. Yeah, Silmaria is where the Quest for Glory 5 takes place. Well now, what news do you have for me? What news do I have for you? You tell Olga that Boris didn't like being ordered around all the time. Ah, oh, I wouldn't have had to order him around if he would only have done his work. I just wanted the shop to be neat and clean in case anyone came in. I'm How does she expect me to do all the work around here by myself? You seem to be doing a good yeah, enough job. This was his family's business, after all. The cozy cat conveys a calmness most common in comfortable confines. Oh, that's good. This is a store counter. It's covered with more cats than merchandise. And this cat here? The cozy cat. And this one? This used to be a knitting basket, but now seems to have become a cat basket. Amazing how that tends to happen. It's true. The cozy cat... Careful! The cats may explode if you touch them. They're perfectly content where they are. I want to pet the cat. That's my husband used to... Yeah, yeah, has your yeah, yeah, sunshine around. I probably shouldn't be recording r immediately after record, um, doing two, uh, videos of Clock Tower 2. That's probably why this thing's running as badly as it is. When the days are short and the nights grow long, a friendly face is a welcome sign. So why do I have to keep looking at yours? 
to tell Boris that Olga is having trouble running the shop without him. There is much to do to keep the shop straightened up. My family always work together to keep it going before. If only Olga wouldn't nag me all the time. She and I used to enjoy running the shop when we actually had things to sell. What is the point of even running a shop when there is no business? Right, I'll go tell her. May your journey... Yeah, yeah, journey where I managed to go, yeah. Let's talk about Boris some more, eh? Tell Olga that Boris doesn't see any reason to keep the shop open when there's nothing left to sell. No business? <laughs> you just tell that man about my avocado and garlic sandwiches. <laughs> People come in and buy them all the time. <laughs> I'm sure it's because they don't have an option. Yeah, good night and don't let the bed bugs bite, as my husband used to say. Let's check the time real quick. It's not night. Nobody's going to bed at this hour. You don't say good night unless you're going to go to bed. Otherwise, it's just goodbye. That's not true, is it? I'm sorry. A fine autumn day to be walking. A man who walks everywhere will see much, I always say. Well, I can't argue with that logic unless they're not looking around. You tell Boris about Olga's avocado and garlic sandwiches. How I used to love her avocado and garlic sandwiches. We had them on our wedding night, you know. Um... You should have seen the garlic and avocado flowers decorating our wedding cake. Oh, beautiful. And she baked the cake herself. Oh, she always was a good cook. You remind me of how much I miss my wife. I shall go back and visit her. Why does that sound sinister? Goodbye and good travels reminds me of robotnik from the sat am uh series which is probably because it's jim cummings don't you freeze on me game Hello? Do you... Did Boris come by at all, or...? Boris came back to visit me. We had a lot to talk about. He says he'll come back again after work. It was nice to see him. <laughs> Seemed like old times. Well, that's all I needed to do. Well, I know we didn't do much exciting today, but at least we got a couple back together, hmm? Repair to marriage. And as a hero, that's what you gotta do. That might have actually increased my honor. Let me check. Oh, yes. Honor went way up. So, yeah, it pays to, uh... fix marriages. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Let me just save my game. Save my game. Thank you. And I will see you guys next video. TTFN.